בשם השם נעשה ונצליח. שלום וברכה, חברים יקרים. We at Be'ezot Hashem have been sacrificing everything to make sure that over the years we did everything we could and continue to do everything we could to teach everyone about the issue of Tikkun Abrit, the significance of morality in the eyes of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Countless lectures, a major movie, Tikkun Abrit movie has hit millions of views in 10 different languages and now we are joining forces on a specific mission with the holy organization Bechagve Sela and Rav Kuk and the, uh, this particular mission is called Kedoshim to you. You will be holy and it's regarding helping Am Yisrael do tshuva for the sake of Tikkun Abrit because the disaster that's happening in the world today whether it's the corona or the other diseases or the, uh, the, the vaccine or the war that's in the world, all types of people are coming out with all types of promises. The Mashiach is going to come. This is the end of the world. All types of different things. Rabotai, breathe and understand. Our mission has not changed. Our mission as individuals has not changed. Yesterday, we were supposed to do tshuva. Today, we're supposed to do tshuva. And tomorrow, we're supposed to do tshuva. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu does not want to send the Mashiach until we do tshuva. But not just any tshuva. Tshuva for the issues of morality. Tshuva for the issues of Kedusha. And that's what Sefer Oaganuz says that HaKadosh Baruch Hu does not want to send the Mashiach until Am Yisrael does tshuva for the issues of Kedusha and does not waste seed, does not walk around promiscu with promiscuity and immorality and, and, and all types of uh, immodesty, does tshuva. Because at the time of Noah, the Zohar Kadosh says people were immoral, people were wasting seed, people were doing all of the sins of morality that they could possibly think of. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu said they lost their right to live. And he doesn't want to repeat the same thing. And therefore, each and every single person needs to understand it's time to do tshuva and realize that the, all of the troubles that are happening in the world HaKadosh Baruch Hu shaking it in order to wake us up but not just to wake us up to give a few dollars of tzedakah not just to wake us up so we can eat kosher not just to wake up to do a few mitzvot but to do tshuva shlema and the beauty about Kedusha is when a person protects their Brit, they get the strength to keep all of the mitzvot. Shabbat, Kashrut, uh, Tfilin, learning Torah, everything. Whereas when they do Tshuva in a different direction, and they start just by eating kosher, they start just by learning a little bit, they start by giving tzedakah, those are all good, but they don't give you the same level of strength to overcome all of the other obstacles. Because the Brit, that's the Yesod. Now the problem is that everyone has a past. Everyone has some mistakes they've made in the past. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu provided the solution before we even knew what the ailment was. And says the Chida in Sefer Avodat HaKodesh that since there is Tshuva, a person needs to know that Tshuva is multiple parts. And the biggest part of Tshuva is to know that just doing tshuva on our own is sometimes not enough because since a person wasted seed and in essence the chida says wasted the sparks of kedusha he now has to fix it how can you fix it how can you retrieve those sparks of kedusha back help other people do tshuva for this particular issue share these videos share the movie tikkun abrit help them understand how terrible immorality is not just to themselves but to the entire world and help them understand that this is what akadosh baruch Hu wants from you because once you do this the rest of the torah becomes beautiful becomes delicious becomes holy in your eyes and be'ezrat hashem we will succeed together and when the mashiach will come He'll be proud to call us Am Kadosh. Rasa nafshi 
נפשי אחריך, אביה. 